Welcome back to Ask Dr. Clark. Today's topic, the narc's romantic jealousy. Many narcs are crazy jealous and regularly accuse you of having feelings for other men, men from your past and men in the present. This is another form of emotional abuse and I'll talk about that today. At the end of this short video, I'll recommend some helpful resources and give you an opportunity to join our anti-narc team. Quickly, if you want to buy one of the t-shirts that I wear uh, during my videos, you can do that now. We have the anti-narc collection of these t-shirts on the website, davidclarkphd.com, so you can check that out. Okay, today's question. Dr. Clark, after reading your book, Enough is Enough, I know my husband is a narc. Because in this Enough is Enough book, I make it clear as a bell. You'll know if you're married to a narc or not after you've read it. In fact, after the first six chapters, you'll know. She continues, one thing he does that you don't talk about too much in the book, I don't, is his jealousy. If a man even looks at me, he thinks I want him. He tracks my every movement. If I ever talk to a man, even a friend of ours, he gives me the third degree. He thinks I still have feelings for old boyfriends I haven't seen for years. This is exhausting me. I can't convince him I have no interest in other men. What do I do? Here's my answer. Many narcs are jealous, pathologically jealous, because they're so incredibly insecure of just about every man on the planet. Your old boyfriends, he'll bring them up even when they're dead. I had a lady the other day on a phone advice session. An old boyfriend she hadn't seen for 30 years dies. Well, okay, the narc had a problem with that. The guy is dead. <laughs> it doesn't make any difference. He wanted her to tell him that she still had feelings for him, but that's ridiculous. Or, or you've had no contact forever. You're, it could be your ex-spouse who you have to have contact with, and that, that could be a problem for the narc. Your male coworkers, do you work with men? Oh, God forbid, they all want you, and you want them. Male friends in your neighborhood or church never stops. If you glance at a man, you're flirting. You want that man. If, God forbid, a man looks at you for longer than a second, that's a threat. The narc's always scanning for threats. You want that man, even though you didn't know he looked at you. He'll bring up your old boyfriends, your ex-spouse, and accuse you of still having romantic feelings for them. He'll accuse you of cheating. He'll accuse you of wanting to cheat. When often, the narc is the one cheating. He's the one doing porn. He's the one having these flirtatious relationships and more. He'll track your movements. He'll question you relentlessly. Spanish Inquisition. Okay, here's what I want you to do starting now. Now, here's what you'd like to do. You'd like to say, and this is tempting, don't bother. Uh, yes, Bob, my old high school boyfriends, uh, I, I, who I haven't talked to him for 20 years, but I want him. I, I think about him all the time. Well, you're not going to say that even though it's tempting. Of course not. Here's, here's what I want you to do. Do not talk to the narc about his jealousy ever again. This will drive him crazy too bad. You cannot and will not convince him there is no threat. He wants these endless conversations where you're on the defense when you've done nothing wrong. You're not having the conversations. Don't even tell him, uh, honey, I, honey, narc, whatever, I won't talk about your jealousy ever again because that will lead to a nasty dialogue. No, 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 you're not gonna even say that. Just stop doing it. Ignore his questions about other men. Ignore his comments about other men. Ignore his questions about your whereabouts. Do not allow him to track your movements. Listen to me. This is a free country. We still live in America. This isn't a police state yet. Disable GPS and all tracking on your phone and car. You will not be tracked by your crazy, jealous husband. This will, of course, this all will make him furious. It will convince him you're cheating. Who cares? He already thinks you're cheating. Don't worry about that. And it's part of getting strong enough to leave him. Ignore the backlash and you will get backlash. If he decides to divorce you, praise the Lord. Please divorce me. You're divorcing him anyway. When you're ready, get my book, Enough is Enough, and prepare to leave this crazy, jealous monster. Now, I also recommend you watch my online video series, Freedom from Your Narcissist Journey. It covers the entire escape process in a very basic way. Many have found this helpful. I also want to mention my brand new ebook for those of you struggling with guilt for a divorce. Even though divorcing an ark is the absolute right and biblical thing to do, it's easy to get stuck in guilt and shame because Satan's all over you. Get this new ebook, Stop Feeling Guilty for Your Divorce, also on the website, davidclarkphd.com. 
And if you want to join our anti narc team, we have many of you joining and we love it. We're helping each other. This is a strong community of anti narc people, supporters. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and my TikTok channel.